hope they don't price it too badly. Um, and looking at the specs, it's not super powerful, but it's enough. And because Linux is so optimized that, you know, you're going to get great performance. This is a dangerous turning point for people like Microsoft and um, and Sony, because obviously, you know, we've all got lots of game. Gamers have got lots of games on different platforms. We're not all just committed to one. And now this opens up your entire Steam library for the, you know, for the uh, TV. And one of the big things here is we, you know, we can build Steam boxes ourselves, sort of, with Bazai and stuff like that. But this will be like an out of the box installation. So that'll be great. Anyway, until that arrives, I mean, you know, we can still try and build our own Steam machines for the home, or we can try and optimize the performance of using Steam on Linux. So obviously I'm on a Marchy and what I've been working on, I sort of last week I did a script that sort of launches you into Gamescope. I've gone a bit further this time. A lot of people's comments were saying, oh, you should use catchy OS for games. So what I've done, I've managed to shoehorn into a loading, uh, like a, a script, a loader, everything. So you can switch from the Arch standard kernel that comes with Amachi to the catchy ball kernel, which is borrowed something resources. Basically, it prioritizes tasking, so it's, it makes it more um, responsive. So this little app will allow you to switch between the kernel and then on the top of that with launching Gamescope quickly, it will allow you to do scaling. Um, it will allow you to do all sorts of stuff and quickly get into Steam.